Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is my first bridal look, so I hope you guys like it. The first shade that I'm going to pick up for the transition is Silk Cream, and it is this really nice transition shade right here. And we're just going to sweep this right into the crease and kind of just all over the lid. It doesn't really need to be precisely in the crease. And you can build that up if you want. So I already primed her eyes using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and a translucent powder. This is just to get a nice base down for our next shadows. This will make it easier to blend also. That should be good. Just to put a little more depth into the crease, I'm going to take the shade Pukey. And we're going to put that kind of in the same spot, but more precisely in the crease this time. These two shades are definitely like one of my two favorites from the palette for transitions. Also, Pooter. And Butter. They're just all kind of perfect for transition. She put a lot of different shades in the palette, perfect for transitions for every different skin tone. So that was nice. So we're going for this very earthy toned kind of brownish color for the eyes today. Next we're taking this brownish, not even sure how to describe it, but I will put in the name of the shade later but we're just going to put this all over the lid. There probably will be a little bit of fallout. I'm not wanting this super metallic, but more just like of a shimmer. I'm actually just going to take this on my finger. Oops. It applies better with a finger. Fallout is fine, you can just take any brush and sweep it away. You can always get a, um, what's it called? Eye guard? No. Shadow guard. Eyeshadow shield guard thing, and that can <clears throat> help with fallout. I'm just gonna kind of blend this a little bit. Right in the inner corner, I'm going to take a little bit of a lighter color. Sorry, my dad is mowing lawn and it's very loud, so I'm sorry if you can hear that. Anyways, I'm going to go in with a little bit of a lighter color right in the center. It's not much of a difference, but just to kind of brighten up the inner corner a little bit. So I just took these two mixed. This will kind of help open up her eye a little bit. It's not going to look so <laughs> closed in. <laughs> With these sh shadows, I found that fingers work way better than brushes. But if you want to use a brush, I recommend getting the brush wet with any like setting spray or Fix Plus or whatever you want. And just going to blend this a little bit. Um, I'm going to take a little bit more of Silk Cream and blend with that. If you don't want any fallout at all, you can always do your eye makeup first and then go ahead and do your face makeup, but we just wanted to get the face makeup done with so this video wouldn't be an hour long. <laughs> Next we're going to take a little bit of a darker color. First we're going to go in with mocha and mocha is just this really pretty chocolate brown so i'm going to take this one and we're gonna put this on the outer edge of the eye i barely even put my brush into the color because these shadows are so pigmented next we're going to go in with abyss which is the black color Abyss is the darkest shade and it's this black right here and I'm barely going to tap into it. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place it on just a tiny bit. Just going to pat it on. 
and then go in with my other brush and use that to blend it. Otherwise, if you use the same brush that you had the black on, it'll just get all over and kind of like blow it out. And I want it right in the outer corner. For the lower lash line, I'm going to take the shade Mocha and go right underneath. Not too blown out, but just right underneath. I'm going to bring it all the way in to the inner corner. Next, we're going to take a more defined brush and go into the black and go really, really close. She hates this. <laughs> And then to kind of smoke that all out, I'm going to take Pukey, and I'm just going to smoke that all out. So after I get done, mostly done, I compare the two eyes and just make sure that they're pretty even, and then I go back in if I see any needs to kind of fix it up a little bit. I go back in and just keep blending or adding more color just to make sure they're both even. For lashes, I'm going to take the Salon Perfect Demi Wispies and they just look like this. They're very pretty, kind of more natural, but I don't want her eyes to be too dramatic because I'm going for like a wedding look and I don't want them to be too dramatic, but they're pretty, like kind of more sparse on the inside and then get fuller and longer on the outside. Of course, you don't have to wear lashes to your wedding, but I just feel like it kind of complete this look. You can always, I mean, if you have long, full lashes, like her already, you could honestly just get away with mascara, but I'm gonna be a little more extra and pop on some lashes. So once the lashes are on and dried, I take a eyeliner and I just kind of go over, as you can see, like even though it's dry, you can still kind of see where the glue is. And I just kind of draw over that just to kind of um, hide the glue and the, eye, um, the eyelash band, I guess. You don't really need to put eyeliner like on the actual lid, just more like on the band. Then I'm going to take my L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. This mascara is so good. Actually, I'm gonna have her apply this, but I'm just gonna have her kind of like blend in her real lashes and her fake lashes. For the inner corner, I'm gonna apply this Anastasia Shadow in the shade Metal. It's just this really metallic kind of gold but I'm just going to place that right in the center or right in the inner corner not too much because it is kind of like glittery but just a little bit and then for her brow bone I'm going to take the color beam from the palette and I'm just going to can't really see it I'm just going to put it right underneath her brow bone And that is the final look for the eyes. I think it turned out really pretty and I think this is perfect and beautiful for a wedding day. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>